On the next day, uh, we went again there and uh, helped, uh, also distributed uh, our aid uh, directly to refugees. He says, uh, uh, the to was on the sea. He says, I was thinking 99% was dead. We were dead. They told refugees who had to sleep in uh, unheated tents. It was really cold at night. But uh, those official NGOs and uh, UN organizations just thought, well, we don't have blankets anymore. We knew they had them. And some people managed uh, to steal some of these blankets and uh, distribute them uh, to refugees. When we come to Bulgaria, uh, the police uh, shoot one uh, up or one down. When they shoot one person, he killed. Uh, yeah, he died. As uh, I started to make this film, I actually only wanted to show pictures from uh, the Balkan route and the work we did there. Um, I'm at the Canarians now, at the Canary Islands, on Tenerife, Boca Congresso. Uh, last week, several refugees drowned and tried to cross uh, on the Atlantic. This water here. Uh, coming from Morocco to the Canary Islands. So everywhere where you are in Europe, if you go to the outer border, you are confronted with uh, EU border policies, which already killed about 25,000 people. Um, I am able to come with a normal ferry or a plane here because I have this document. And for me, it's unbelievable that I am capable and privileged of traveling everywhere just because of this stupid little paper. And other people have to uh, go in the hands of the smugglers on small boats, risking their lives because the EU, European Union and all their states, member states, governments are not allowing them to take a normal plane or a normal ferry, which is very, very disturbing and killing a lot of people. And somehow, I think there's not enough anger and, and, and protest inside the European Union against this policy. It's inhuman. It's killing people and it has to stop. It has to stop now.